Now something a lot of my subs may not know about me is that I'm actually a pro roller coaster tycoon free player and I'm going to show you guys how to create pretty spectacular scenarios in the roller coaster free ultimate edition sandbox editor mode which gives you free cash unlimited funding so this is how it's done so first of all you start off you have a field essentially with a path and some guy walking up and down on an entrance park inspector there you go so he's there he's not that impressed to begin with because there's, there's nothing going on in this park some may ask the question why is it even open because there's nothing there but people are still paying to get in because that's the, that's the nature of society really isn't it nowadays people will still come to your park even if there is nothing there and it's blatantly just some field so people are coming in and I'm gonna have to throw down some some rides now some shops some, some facilities so the way I do that is I use the mouse and I click on icons on the left side of the screen and I select random items I select things like the bison burger joint like that like so there you go and I place that down and they can go there to buy burgers and essentially make me money in the process and perhaps fulfill their own lives so it's close to begin with so the bottom right of the screen you have to select the flag icon and you select green so it's open so it's green open red closed and then what you do is you up the price of a burger slightly from one dollar fifty you up that to one dollar sixty because you can do that because you it's perfectly in your power to do it and you can make more money so this is a bit of a pro tactic not many people know about this park operations so you click on the entrance and you change the name of your park because it sandbox is pretty generic I'm gonna call it death zone 3000 and I'm gonna set an entrance fee for ten dollars because it was free before so that's probably why they were coming in anyway ten dollars I think that's fair enough I don't know what any of these other options are frankly nobody uses them they're irrelevant I don't know why they're in the game so you click, you click with your left click button and you close the menu. So now what you do is you monitor, monitor your land, make sure that nobody is stealing anything. They probably aren't. And what you then have to do is you have to build more in order to attract more paying customers. And that's the name of the game in Roller Coaster Tycoon. So here's what you do, you select the ride icon and you just select stuff that you like the look of essentially. So I'm going to put down some some water based rides, I like the kind of aquatic stuff. So I'm putting down this, this I don't know what it is, some kind of flume. And the way you do it is you select where you want to put it and you, you do something. You, what do you do? You press, you, what the fuck? I don't know. By the way, you may have realised by now that I have no idea what I'm doing because I've never played Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 before. I've just picked it up in the Steam sale and I'm just randomly clicking buttons, doing random shit. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging this video, completely winging it. So apologies if you were expecting some kind of pro tutorial so anyway I'm putting down a flume here so you have to click the arrows which indicate the way that it turns terrible placement I'm not entirely sure how you delete it if I knew I would just delete the whole damn thing start again because it just looks ridiculous in that position completely ridiculous tight curve I think there's some autocomplete option. I read about that somewhere. I'm going to try that in a minute. I don't know what any of these other options are. Const construction. I don't know. I'm guessing I have to put down. No, that's too near the path. No, this is not going to work. 
this is this is just not going to happen for me. So I'm going to have to I'm going to open it anyway to hell with it. Let's see what happens. Apparently, you, um, I, I read somewhere that you have to have an entrance. No solution for track auto complete on Aqua Blaster. Oh, okay. So the AI can't even handle the auto complete for this because it's so screwed. You cannot place a track near a path. Yes, I knew that. So the mystery here is how. Just how, basically. How would you play this game? That's the mystery. I have no idea. So I'm going to abandon that. This is a third world theme park. There's just unfinished rides all over the place. Builders on strike. Nothing working. Let's just throw down a gorilla. That will solve all my problems. Let's just throw down a camel as well, for good measure. Near the entrance. That will impress people. They're on the run. For all I know, they're going to attack people at will now, kill everyone, and I'll be in the headlines. That's not the kind of publicity I want in this park. So let's put down some more easy, simple rides. I'm selecting some music here, I'm not quite sure what that achieves. People are having trouble getting to the entrance of the Bison Burgers, really? There's no problems there. I think that's some phony intel I've been supplied. Someone needs to be fired. Um, it's all it's all good. It's all ticking along. So essentially right now people are walking into a, a field paying $10 a pop. Walking up a gravel pathway and being raped at the burger joint to buy a standard burger. And that's Death Zone 3000 for you. Definitely don't come here on your holiday. It's gone dark all of a sudden, it's night time. How's why how do, is there a light? Maybe I need to get some lighting set up. No, it's bright again. Okay, fair enough. I'm guessing you you need to put down some lights, but uh, I think I got away with that. What else have we got? Maps. Cancel, yes, cancel. I'm gonna quit this crazy game. No, I'm not. So this is kinda of weird at the moment. This reminds me of theme park from years and years and years ago. I have it on good authority but this is a far better game than Theme Park ever was so let's see what I can do. With Theme Park I just ended up creating crazy places that no one would want to ever visit in real life. Let's put down a circus that will solve all my problems. Just throw down a huge circus and just call it a day so what do we got here? Let's there we go. I'm not sure if that's the right way. I think, I think that's facing the correct way. So I'm going to take an intuitive leap here. I guess I have to extend the pathway to reach the circus. That would make a lot of sense. So here we go. Uh, oh, okay. I think that's pretty much all I need to do, isn't it? No, probably not. I'm guessing I need to create an entrance. So this is the big mystery. How do you create an entrance in? this damn game you put down rides but no one can get to them because there's no entrance how do you resolve this I don't know I probably will never know unless I google it and I can't google it because I'm in the middle of the game recording this video so I may have to find out later so I've created another pathway there a great long extended pathway which leads to a coffee shop there you go that's all you need you walk in you buy a coffee you stand around, you leave. That's all you need to do. So what else have we got? I can't open it yet, I don't think. I think I would probably start to enjoy this game a bit more if I knew what the hell I was doing. I may need to watch some tutorial videos, to be honest. At a later date. But I got this pretty cheap in the Steam sale. It's quite fun. I'm impressed by the amount of AI NPC characters are turning up, turning up here. I was only expecting to see a handful. Got huge numbers coming in now, pouring in. They're pouring in. I want to give them a good time as well, but I just don't know how to. Oh dear. 
delete this. No, I'm not deleting it. Not yet. Anyway, maybe, maybe I will at some point. So, what else have we got? We've got all sorts of options here, and I don't know what half of them mean. But I can employ staff. So let's give myself an army here of security guards. I think that's what this park needs. It needs an Orwellian field to it. It needs thousands of security guards roaming every corner. There we go. Bang. Let's just create a load of them there. I'm assuming that's all I need to do. I'm guessing they're already there now. They're, they're row. What does that say? There we go. They're down. Yep, there you go. They were, they're in the park. So I've got some sort of accessory store there as well. That's open for business. I've got my coffee shop. I've got my burger joint. I've got a circus that no one can get to and some half-finished weird attempt at a aqua slide park type venue. So there we go. I think that's good enough, isn't it? I think my work is done. No, I don't want a second circus. How do I cancel that? Forget it. There we go. What else have we got? Roller coasters. Oof. Maybe. Maybe when I know what the hell I'm doing, I can create one. Let's put down a double deck observation base tower. Not entirely sure what that's for. Is it a rise? I don't know. Again, though, I don't know how you actually open it because I don't know how you create the entrance. So let's cancel that. Let's put it down again and make it orange. There we go. And let's extend the height of that, that huge phallic symbol. There we go. That's done. What's going on? The game's frozen on me. It's frozen on me. Or has it? No, it hasn't. What's happening here? I don't know. So, I think we need, I think we need more stools because that seems to be the only thing I can achieve in this game. Let's put down some random stool there, another one, and open it up for business or not. Ah, uh, what's this? I've clicked on a camera icon. So I now have some sort of first person perspective security camera footage view, which is quite cool. I could see this game being a lot of fun to be honest, if I actually knew what I was doing. I can create some impressive rides and attractions and I think there are people out there that actually recreate real theme parks. That's pretty hardcore, pretty impressive. Look at this, they've picked up their accessories and they're walking to buy a coffee and that's it because there's nothing else to do nothing else going on here even the birds are flocking look at that they're off you know what I'm gonna f just do what I can now to just sabotage this damn place kill everyone how do you how do I do that let's see let's see if I can destroy this damn place I should never have created it. It was a mistake. A mistake from the outset. So I'm guessing I can just delete the terrain. Delete the terrain as they're walking on it. Oh no, you can't. What am I doing? I'm actually lowering the elevation of the path there. And I'm... Oh yes, look at this. Earthquake simulator. That's all you need. Oh, brilliant. I can lower the terrain and they're still on the terrain. I can imprison these fools. Yes, let's raise the terrain with people on it. Moo ha ha ha. That's how it's done. See, this is what theme uh, roller coaster time tycoon is all about. It's all about sabotaging theme parks via evil techniques such as the terrain elevation trick. But there's, there's more to it. There's more to it. I've got an idea here. I'm going to throw down some wild exotic animals right on top of them so they're stuck I've got nowhere to run from the gazelle from the evil gazelle let's see what happens boom no reaction at all no one cares 
I was expecting some crazy panicked reactions there. Maybe not. Maybe the gazelle's too friendly. What about a big, big male elephant? No, where's the elephant then? Where did they go? Uh, oh, they're down there. Everyone's running from the elephant. The crazy elephant is attacking everyone. But they're not though. They're stuck. But everyone's still running. Oh, no, no, there they go. There you go. There's the elephant. Everyone's running away. They're running into the field in a panic. This is the worst theme park ever. This is an embarrassment. I don't know what I'm doing. It's dark now as well and there's no light. So they're going to be stalked by an elephant. And there's no way they can get out because the terrain's been lowered by the entrance. And there's an army of security guards as well, just for good measure. It's just turned into a bit of a nightmare, really. It's a bit of a hell on earth, this place. Death Zone 3000 is open for business. I'm guessing there's a way I can assess the reactions people have had to this park, whether they're positive or negative. I'm guessing I know which. What's this? A dolphin show. Let's put down a dolphin show. Let's try and make this truly evil. Sea World. Watch Blackfish, by the way, on Netflix, if you haven't already. Anyway, what? I don't know what happened there. I couldn't appear to put it down. People are walking in, they can't even get in the door. They can't even get through the door. That's how good this park is. They're stuck from the point of entrance. So there you go, I'm putting down some angry nightmare realms. And just to top it all off, I've just had a notification there. Items and accessory one are too cheap. So I need to up my prices as well. Well, that was fun, but yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't, don't recreate this at home, folks. Really, don't.